Gary Lineker hits back at Piers Morgan's brutal takedown of woke ravaged Oscars. Gary Lineker has hit back at Piers Morgan's furious takedown of the Oscars 2021, which he branded a howlingly dull train wreck. Taking to Twitter, the former striker responded to the former Good Morning Britain presenter's remarks about the Academy Awards plunging viewing figures. As the ITV presenter blamed the Woke Brigade for the event's downfall, Gary had a simpler theory. Or perhaps nobody went to a cinema in the last 12 months. He responded to Piers' tweet. The outspoken personality however was quick to his back. Hi Grandpa, are you aware you can watch movies on streaming services? He quipped. But despite the multitude of streaming services, the sports broadcaster insisted that the experience WASNT the same as going to the cinema. He wrote back, well I've heard of at Netflix at Apple at Prime Video etc., but it's not the same as going to the movies. Sure to have affected interest in the Oscars. Taking to Twitter last night, the former newspaper editor announced that the Woke Brigade had destroyed the Hollywood event. He wrote, breaking, Oscars ratings crashed to an all-time low, down a staggering 58% on last year's awards which was also an all-time low. As I feared, the Woke Brigade may have now destroyed the biggest, glitziest event in show business. He also took to his column to slam the Oscars 2021 by hitting out at a series of crazy decisions made by producers. The journalist argued that the howlingly dull ceremony was only saved momentarily by Francis McDormand's bizarre imitation of a wolf and Glenn Close doing the da butt dance. He additionally slammed the Academy Award winners for using their acceptance speeches to preach their political views to fans. Unleashing a rant about the 93rd Academy Awards ceremony, which was held in LA's Union Station, Piers fumed in his latest Mail Online column, Honestly, if there was an Oscar for Worst Horror Story, it would go to whoever decided it would be a good idea to hold this year's event in a train station. Though ironically, that turned out to be the most perfectly appropriate venue for a grim, soulless three-hour ordeal that was the complete opposite of what Hollywood's biggest night is supposed to be about. I'd have been genuinely more entertained if it actually just watched trains coming and going. Fans were quick to weigh in on the debate between the two presenters with their take on what happened in the comments, with one saying that they were indifferent to the event. They wrote, I'm just not that interested if I'm honest, I just don't care. One social media user cited the coronavirus pandemic as the reason behind the lack of good movies last year.
They penned the point is, there weren't many good movies that were released in 2020 because of COVID so many people chose not to watch the awards.